Hey, what's up guys? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video and today we're going to check out the new Squirt Gun Energy Weapons. That's what I like to call them. Like the Nucleon, the Quarker, and the Atomizer. And these guys overheat and they start to spray everywhere. So at 500 meters, the last thing you want for these things is to overheat. And the further away you are, you want to make sure you let them cool down sooner when you're at like 400 meters or 500 meters. And I'm going to show you a ex good example of how to do that. We're going to look at how much, how inaccurate they are at different ranges once they've overheated. And we're going to tell you how to get the most out of these at different ranges. So at 500 meters, watch what happens here once these start to overheat, which is already happening a little bit before halfway right at full overheat these things are just spraying everywhere and if you notice i mean you can see they're just flying past this robot they're not hitting him at all we're hardly doing any damage and these are worthless when they're overheated at 500 meters so it's really really important to make sure you let these things cool down because when they're cooled down they're crazy accurate and they actually do a lot of damage we're shooting at a t falcon right now and t falcons are very very strong and hard to take down so when you're at 500 meters or so with these weapons, you're going to want to spray for, I mean, shoot for a little bit and then let it cool down. Shoot, let it cool down. Shoot, let it cool down. So we want to, we want to get less than halfway on the overheating bar. Probably around a quarter of the way, actually. So shoot for two or three seconds and then let it cool down. So here we go. All right, they're starting to spray right about now. So that's the best to let it cool down. The second they start to spray at 500 meters, stop and let it cool down. And you're only out of ammo for what less than two seconds i think all right you'll notice they'll start to glow the second they start to get into the overheating range and that's when you're going to want to stop shooting as soon as you see them glow now when you're at closer range you can let these things cool down a little you can let them go a little further before you need to actually let them cool down okay so let's get a little closer around 400 meters and now we're around 400 meters and let's try this again and in a minute once we kill this robot so right around halfway is where they start to become inaccurate at 400 meters so the closer you are the more you can let them overheat before you need to let them cool down so right about now they just became inaccurate right around halfway so let's go ahead and move up to 300 meters at 300 meters, you can go to probably about 75% of the way to the overheat before you can let them cool down. Alright, so they're still pretty accurate. They're still accurate. They're starting to spray, but they're still hitting a lot. So right about there, right about 75% of the overheating bar filled up, and they became inaccurate. So, at 300 meters, you want to shoot until you hit about 75% on the overheating. So right about there. Time to let it cool down. It takes, what, about three seconds? You're out of ammo for about three seconds, which isn't really that bad at all. I mean, you can even go to around halfway if you want. That way you're not out of ammo as long. And we're still doing pretty good damage. And you got to think, we're currently shooting a T-Falcon, which is a very, very strong robot. And these are actually doing some pretty nice damage. All right, so let's get up to around 250 meters. At what point do we need to cool, let these cool down at 250 meters? They're still doing well. We're almost at full overheat. And right around full overheat. So even at 200 to 250 meters, you can pretty much let it go to full overheat before you need to let it cool down. All right. That's actually pretty good. Let's get up to around 100 meters and see how this works. Now 100 meters or closer, you really don't need to let it cool down too much. So we're going to go with, let's just try around 80 meters, that's fine, alright? Let's go ahead and shoot this guy. And we really don't need to let it cool down at this point, okay? He's do really good at this point. So let's drop in another robot. We're going to head, go ahead and drop in a Hades. And we're actually just going to see how fast we can kill this guy. We're going to move the Hades up here to around 500 meters. How fast can we kill this Hades at around 500 meters? All right, let's find out. We're going to use the shoot a little bit and stop method. Here we go. So right about now, we're going to start to overheat. So we need to stop and let it cool down. 
Alright. Right about a quarter of the way up. As soon as those weapons start to glow, that's when you want to stop when you're at 500 meters. That really wasn't too bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, let's drop in one more robot. Let's go ahead and drop in a Phantom without his damage resistance. And we're going to go ahead and move the Phantom towards us. Phantom's fast, so we'll go ahead and move him towards us to around... We'll put him around 300 meters. Let's see how long it takes us to take this dude out at 300 meters without his damage resistance. There we go. Alright, so we're going to shoot this Phantom... And we can go a little bit longer on the overheating thing. Look how much damage that's doing. We're around halfway. Time to stop. Alright, we're cooled down. Alright, you notice as soon as they start to spray, they really do lose their accuracy. You want to make sure these things don't overheat. It's very important, okay? Around 300 meters, you still want to stop around the halfway mark. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and bring in a Ao Jun. So now we got Ao Jun versus Ao Jun. We're going to do this around, I'm not, probably around 300, 350 meters again for this guy. Maybe we'll get to bring in the Arthur. We got the Rege Redeemer Ao Jun up here. Alright, we're going to do it around 200 meters maybe. I don't want to kill that guy, so I'm going to go ahead and land. Here we go. 200 meters. Let's see how fast we can kill an Al Jean at 200 meters. So we're starting to get inaccurate around halfway still, so we're going to stop. Well, that was very, very good. Alright, let's drop in. Let's drop in a Titan. We're going to try and kill a Titan with this thing. This might get kind of crazy, guys. We're going to try and kill this Titan with an Al Jean. We're going to go through a shield. I've only got about a minute left on this battle before it runs out, so I'm not 100% sure that we're actually going to be able to go through with this, but you guys get the idea, I think. Get up in the air. Get as close as possible. So we're going to get within about 350 meters. Now, he doesn't have his doors closed, okay? So his doors are wide open. Now with something like this, you have such a bigger hitbox, you almost don't have to let it cool down because most of the most of the projectiles or the bullets are hitting your Arthur. Only a few are missing for the most part. So something this big, you almost don't need to do the cooldown, but it's still better to let it cool down. You want all of your, your ammo to hit them, not just part of it. That's doing some nice damage to the Arthur. Of course, like I said, his shield is not activated, but this is just a really good test to try out these weapons and figure out how to use them at different distances because it is really important not to let these things overheat. Even now, I think a lot of those are actually hitting his shield instead of his body, so his shield is probably still blocking a lot of the a lot of those projectiles that are coming in. The bottom line, Titan all right, slayer. don't let these guys overheat. The further away you are, you got to play them differently at different distances. So hopefully this, this tutorial has been helpful, and I will catch you guys later, all right? See ya.